What's up guys, Universal Mastery. So, what I'm gonna do on this video is I'm gonna break down why are you single? And what I wanna do is I wanna create a little bit of a clarity and a context of some of the reasons why you might be single even though you don't necessarily want to be single. Okay, so what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences, which literally means the hidden sciences, and I try to bring them down to a practical level so that you can understand them and use them in your day-to-day -day life. So once again, what we're going to be talking about in today's video is why are you single? So if you want to know what I'm talking about and what I'm going to share with you, then definitely stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say before all this is definitely make sure you go and check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have exclusive videos. Okay, I've got a vault of exclusive videos that are already on there, and I'm going to be uploading exclusive videos weekly that are all not on my YouTube channel. Half of the videos are going to be geared towards actual occult practices that I've broken down in video format so that you can use them, apply them, and get a 100% success rate if you do what I share in the video. And then the other half, is going to be geared towards knowledge, what I like to call knowledgeable entertainment. So that's going to be more so like a video like this. So definitely make sure you go and check that out. Where you're going to find the link to the Patreon is going to be the first link in the description. And in order to gain access to these exclusive videos, you have to at least be a tier two or up. Okay, as you go up in tiers, there's high, there's more benefits. So the last tier has an extremely uh, powerful benefit. I'm going to let you go and check that out for yourself. And I also want to give a special shout out to the top tier members already. So special shout out to you guys. Their names are going to be mentioned right below the My Patreon link as well. And once again, at the least, in order to gain access to these exclusive videos, you have to be a tier two. And that's going to cost $9.95 a month. And that'll be a reoccurring payment. But if you do the math, that literally comes out to less than a dollar a day. So there's really no reason why you should be able to afford that. Um, but other than that, going right into the video, guys. So, this is a big one for me, okay? This is a big one. Um, and it's why are you single? Okay, why are you single? And I think, I think this is such a big, this is a big topic for a lot of people, right? Because there are some people that naturally, you know, can get a girlfriend, a boyfriend very quickly, and it's a, it's just, it's just a part of who they are, right? It's, it's, a, it's an aspect of their life that is always going to be there. And there's, you don't ever forget this. There's reason for that. For people that have always naturally been able to get a, a really, you know, let, let's say a good girlfriend or a good boyfriend, a, a good connection, very naturally, for those kinds of people, they're set up for that. It's they were born to be like that. It, it's a part of their own spiritual growth. It's a part of their process. They need that feminine energy. But then there's other people where they need their their spiritual makeup, their astrological makeup, their path is different, where they need to actually spend more time in solitude, more time getting to know just themselves with themselves, or maybe that feminine energy, like rather than coming from a girlfriend, or maybe that masculine energy, rather than coming from a boyfriend, maybe you're gonna get that in a different avenue. Maybe you're gonna get that through people you work with, and you're just gonna get it from, you know, coworkers, or maybe you're gonna get it from parents. Maybe you're gonna get it from friends, who knows? But maybe it's gonna come through a different channel, and the reason why it's coming through that different channel is because that's what's going to be best for your own self development. So, but this is the thing. I want to I want to create a little bit of a context here because a lot of people they want to have that significant other. They want to be with their boyfriend. They want to be with their girlfriend. Um, and the reason, I think a big reason to that is, is because that sexual energy that, that we're talking about here. So obviously when you have a boyfriend, when you have a girlfriend, you're probably thinking about being sexually active with them. Okay. I'm assuming that's, that's one of the aspects, you know, obviously if you're younger and you watch my videos, then this doesn't apply to you yet. But this is just something that is is a real principle. You know, sexual energy is a real thing, it is what is considered to be the most powerful, potent energy there is, which is the, the kundalini itself. It is that sexual serpentine energy. Okay, so 
the reason why I think people want to have that, you know, they want to have a girlfriend or they want to have a boyfriend or they want to have someone that's into them and they want to be able to just say, hey, look, you know what, you want to come over tonight, let's like watch a movie and let's just chill and let's get together. It's because that feels, you you feel that, that sense of uh, kundalini, you feel that sense of comfort that somebody, um, that somebody, you know, one, likes you cares about you makes you feel good because of that for that reason it makes you feel like you have status it makes you feel like you exist on a different level um, but then two then there's that sexual tension that comes into it where you're into that person you actually are sexually stimulated by that person and that's where that kundalini aspect comes in that's like the drug of the situation the major drug of the situation where you know you can you know you might hook up with them you might you might have some some form of a, like a sexual intercourse with that person and it's very euphoric when you do it's very you know whatever it's it's it just feels good and for most people that have been developing themselves spiritually have gotten to a place like and I'm I, this okay I want to create an age context here I'm gonna say for by the age of 18 and up most people 18 and up any lower, I'm not speaking about you, but most 18 and up, um, we have all, like if, you, if you've been developing yourself already and you've been trying to learn more about who you are, you've been trying to learn more about the opposite sex, the opposite, uh, yeah, the opposite sex of what you are, um, then you probably will, w would have already gone out and tried to, uh, tried to find, you could say a match for yourself. Try to find someone that connects with you on a level where you can be intimate with, okay? Where you can actually have sexual intercourse with. So what I'm saying is you've probably already had sex before, okay? You probably have, and you probably figured out somewhat of what you like, somewhat of what you're, you could consider to be your taste. Um, and a lot of the times, we will all have that experience by the age of 18. Okay, a lot of us, not necessarily like you turn 18, you have that experience, but I mean like up is at the least 18 and then going up. You probably have already had that experience and I'm saying probably. There are going to be some people that haven't, but you probably have. And most likely if you did have that experience, some of them, depending on how many times you've had sex with how many different people, there's, there's, there had to have at least been one time where it was a it was an amazing experience it was like it was it was pretty much everything that you thought it to be it was a it was exactly how you imagined it to be and it was very it was very climatic it just felt amazing very euphoric but then maybe maybe it ended very quick meaning like maybe you had that experience with someone and then that person went their own path right maybe they went their own direction or maybe you just felt like you know we had this experience together but we like from person to person, personality to personality, from their journey to my journey, we just, we weren't on the same page. But when it came to that sexual in intercourse, it was great. But from personality to personality, we just, it just wasn't there. So we are attracted to that sexual tension. We're attracted to that Kundalini type of energy. And that's, and that's one aspect. That's the, that's probably the most potent aspect to that. But then we're also attracted to the feeling like, I want someone to like me. I want status. I want someone to care about me. I want to feel like I exist. I want someone to, to, to tend to me. I want someone to, to notice me. I want someone to, to, to hear me out. I want someone that I can express to. I want someone that I can receive from, right? Like, that's another aspect. But remember, the most potent aspect of it is you, that sexual kundalini tension that you can get. And it, it can literally produce a massive high for you and the other person. Um, so that's the first thing, and then there's the status side. There's the you know I want side. There's the there's the um, you could say the more egotistical perspective of it. So it's those two things that we're into. We all like that, and this is this is human nature. Okay, this isn't just me. This isn't just you watching this. This isn't this is everybody. This is every human being that's ever existed and that ever will exist. We all have this this urge, and we all have this desire to want to. Uh, or to be attracted to those types of things, regardless of what sex you're into. You could be same sex, you can get that same stimulation. Um, you could, whatever you are, you, you're gonna find something that produces that, that sexual attraction for you. Um, because it, it, what it comes down to is just a, a, an energy um, that you're into. For me specifically, I'm attracted to the feminine energy. Like, so I'm attracted to women, um, extremely. So like, like, 
when, so like, if there's a beautiful woman in front of me, and she, uh, what I consider to be beautiful, I consider looks to be beautiful, like she has to look good for me, okay? This might not be for everybody, but I think it's for most of us men. She has to look good for me because that shows me that as within, as without. She's been doing work on herself in, she, she cares about what her appearance is, and now she looks beautiful. It's like a goddess, okay? That, that's a big thing for me. So if she has that and she, she's been doing work in, meaning she's been experimenting with her femininity and knows how to access that and express herself, that I'm just, there's something about that that makes me just like, I appreciate you. Like I just wanna go up to you and fucking, and just let you know like you're beautiful and I appreciate you. I appreciate your existence, I appreciate what you do. Like there's something about that that just makes me naturally wanna do that. Now if, there, if there's a guy, and this is just me painting the picture for, for my type of attraction, so that you guys can have an idea of you know what what you can you can really tell like how like how do you know if you're attracted to women or men, whatever you are watching this. If I see a guy and let's say he's a good looking guy, an absolutely good looking guy, I, there's not that spark in me that's like you know I need to go tell him you're a beautiful man. Like there, I don't have that. What I have is a respect. There's something in me that that respects the fact that this man works on himself and cares about the way he looks. There's just something in me that wants me to like, you know, if I went up to him, I'd be like, I would treat him like a, like a, like a brother, like a bro, like, Hey man, you know, like I, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just wave him off. I'd be like, you know, like I, I see you work on yourself, you know, and hopefully, you know, hopefully he has a good personality too. Um, but, but basically what I'm, what I'm painting the picture of is that would create a respect for me. Like I would, I'd be like, okay, this guy, you know, he works on himself. He obviously cares about, you know, you know, uh, as within, as without, and if he has a good personality, that's dope. You know, I would, I would, I would want to be friends with somebody like that. I would want. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. I would want to be friends with somebody that, you know, takes care of how they how they look and takes care of how they act. You know, you know, has a good personality. But I'm not attracted to it. I'm not like I'm not gonna go up to him and be like, dude, you look good. Like you probably get tons of girls. Not like that. With women, I have that natural inclination. So. For yourself, whoever you are watching this, man or woman, whatever you're into, man or woman, whatever you, whatever it is that pulls you in that direction, that's like, you know, you just feel this appreciation for the beauty that they have inside and outside. That's what you're into. That's what you're into. You, that is what you are naturally stimulated by. That is that kundalini, potent drug of an energy. Okay. So the, when it, so the, okay, the title of this video is why are you single? So this is the thing. When you are working on yourself, when you're developing yourself, when you go through this journey of transformation, you're watching this video because you want to learn. You're not watching this video for some random entertainment to get, to get extra stimulus. I'm giving you a balance of both. I'm able to stimulate and give you knowledge at the same time. That's what the key is, is to balance. So you're learning from this video and that's probably the intention of why you click this video because of the title of the video. So when you're going through that stage, probably where you're at right now, you need to learn about that masculine, that feminine within yourself. You need to learn about that sexual energy that you find that you found in that other person. You need to learn about that energy in yourself. You need to figure out what it is that that you are naturally drawn towards about you. You need to be more concerned about your own self reflections. What is it about me that I want? What is it about me that I have? What is it about me that I am? Or what is it about me that I am going to become and be? These are the questions and these are the, these are the answers that you're going to want to find according to you. Okay, so in that stage of self reflection, unraveling who you truly are, if we were to just add somebody else into that equation, remember there are going to be some people where they're naturally going to be able to have that significant other and go through this process, but I'm going to speak on this and say most people are meant to be alone for this process. Most people. So if, let's say you are going through this process and now there's a, you have this sexual desire and you're like, I want somebody else. I want, like, I want somebody else. And, and you just start, like, it starts taking over your mind. You're like, I want to have sex with somebody else. I want to find this beautiful person. I want them to, you know, I want to have this amazing relationship, relationship. And then you just start kind of like fantasizing about it. Let's say you get that person, you bring them into your life. 
then most likely what would end up happening is you put a lot of your energy and attention into that person and then you stop directing it towards yourself. And remember, the feminine energy by its own nature is receptive. So if you are now putting your energy into someone else, someone else, then you are taking away from the feminine aspect of your own self and your own self development because you're no longer directing that energy into yourself. You're now trying to hold on to something or produce something. And this could be from a man or a woman's perspective. Okay, you could be man or woman, and if, you, if you're out desiring this and you want it to happen when it's not supposed to, when you're supposed to go through this process fully or before you find that person, if you're trying to speed that process up, then you're going to miss out on an aspect of your own self-development, and what is that going to do? It's just going to make the process longer. So what would end up happening is you will engage with this person, man or woman, this significant other that you wanted, right? this girlfriend, this boyfriend, and then what would end up happening is it would end up ending because it wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. So it would end, who knows how long it would last. It could la it'll last as long as you keep feeding energy into it, but it will come to an end. And, and from the very beginning, it will be destined to end. And when it's over with, you will realize, hopefully you will realize, I shouldn't have did that. I kind of just wasted time. Hopefully you will realize that. Some people don't realize that. Sometimes it takes another one and another one and another one. Some people never realize it. But then some people do and then they realize, I'm gonna focus on myself. Then they go through that process of focusing on their self. They, they come back to solitude. They learn from the lesson. I'm not gonna be, in, you know, I'm not gonna be moved by what I want right now. I'm gonna focus on me and as tough and as rough and as dark as it can get, I'm just gonna stay focused on me and I will wait till the universe, I will wait till nature shows me signs, bring someone into my life to show me that it's time for me to start. Now it's time for me to, to find that person that I want to bring into my life as a girlfriend or as a boyfriend or as a significant other. I have gone through this process many times where I, I was stubborn, okay? I wanted to have this person in my life. I wanted to see, you know, if I could get this person in my life. I even tried to cheat the system. I tried to like, you know, I was I got to a point where I was like, I don't even want a girlfriend. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna create all these relationships with all these women where they can just come into my life. You know, I can do what I want, pretty much like, you know, have good times with them. And then, you know, we're not going to be dating though. We're just going to have fun. It's going to be a fun thing that we're going to have. You know, we're just going to hang out, we'll chill. And all that stuff and I thought that I was you know I thought that it could work because I'm not like in a relationship right I was trying to like play like cheat the system and I was thinking I could just have you know tons of different girls and whenever I wanted to I could call one and say hey let's hang out but what what's what is the aspect that I'm that I'm trying to cheat right now what is that cheating of the system that I'm doing what I'm cheating is I'm looking for that that sexual energy that sexual tension I'm looking for that attraction that I have for that that woman but I'm not, but while I'm doing that, even though I'm not dating them or I'm not looking for a girlfriend, I'm not trying to invest in someone that deeply, even though I'm still putting energy into somebody, trying to create, uh, trying to create circumstances and opportunities for us to hang out and do certain things when I could be using that time to delve into myself. And instead of being emotionally intertwined with somebody else, pull back from that and be fully present with myself and dive into what I have to learn. And I've learned that. And what I've come to know, okay, this is a this is an aspect what I've come to know is that as I do that, I I I I can okay, so as I work on myself and I self-develop myself, I've come to a place where I'm at right now, okay, I'm sharing this with you, where I don't need to necessarily go out and look for I don't need to go out and look for women. Okay, I don't need to go out and look for who I'm into. Okay, necessarily, I, I and I'm gonna make a different video on this as well. But I also practice something that's called no fap. Now I'm gonna make a like actually that's gonna be my next video. I'm gonna make a video on that. Okay, I have some stuff to say about that. But I don't need to go out and look for look for a woman. Uh, what I do is I work on myself. I continuously you know try to improve myself. I reflect on myself. I try to gear all my energy towards myself and then what what ends up happening is there will be times where 
I do feel very sexually charged where I really like I want to climax with somebody else I want to have a, a, a sexual experience that is that Kundalini energy just gets extreme extremely strong and extremely potent within myself and I just feel this urge to just you know have that experience with somebody so then what I'll do is I'll literally I'll give you an example I could go on a dating app on my phone and I'll swipe and I'll match with somebody instantly very instantly and then the next thing you know that person is like it's almost like the universe nature because I'm 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 approaching it from this perspective and from this this way of approaching it it's gifted to me so I'll talk to somebody I'll say hey you know let's go grab a drink tonight I have my intention I want to have a great experience I want to you know have this sexual climax with this person um, and it obviously if they don't want to do that, that's fine but this is what ends up happening is that you know I'll mess I'll find someone a beautiful woman you know I, I'm I pick of who I you know I pick what kind of you know what kind of girl that I end up seeing and I pick and I you know it's 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 kind of cool because you know it's it's also I also feel like it's like a gift from the universe it's a gift from the work that I've been doing it's a gift from my perspective but I'll, I'll find a girl on the dating app and she'll she'll look really good um, and you know we'll go and you know we'll either we'll either like set something up we'll we'll go and grab a drink together or we'll just literally get right to the point where it's like hey come over and then we'll end up talking for a little bit and then it will lead to that sexual experience so this is the interesting thing it's just so easy like like what I'm trying to get at is it was so easy it's so easy it's like it's like because I'm not I'm not looking for that girl to be my girlfriend I'm not looking I'm not looking for that person to fill fill that void for me I'm not looking for that status um, that that like pump of status I don't need them to pump my ego I need that sexual release I need that sexual tension to to I need that climax I need that explosion of energy I need that release and that's a principle of spirituality what 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 gets expressed eventually or what what you receive in eventually needs to release itself okay so because I'm approaching it from that perspective and I'm looking for that principle in that person that sexual principle that kundalini type of experience it comes so naturally now if I'm on tinder and I'm looking for like a girlfriend that's that's I'm gonna run into so many random people I'm gonna run into probably toxic people that are just totally not like me totally concerned about things that I'm not into but if I'm approaching it from I'm looking for this great experience what ends up happening is I connect with the most beautiful women and they not only are they beautiful on the outside but they they have they're insanely intelligent when it comes to the spiritual development spiritual growth like insanely intelligent like great conversations and then we'll end up having that great experience together and then we both go back on our path and you know we may we may stay in touch but we're not like messaging back and forth afterwards it's just like we both understood the deeper meaning of why we're together so that's how I approach it right now and I know that later down the road there's gonna there's gonna be a time where I'm going to find a significant other where I'm gonna find a girlfriend where there's gonna be a girl in my life that's gonna be taking up most of my time and energy but that's not right now and I'm aware of that okay I know there's gonna be a time where there's gonna be a, a, an extremely important woman in my life but I'm still developing developing myself I'm still focused on the aspects of myself so it's not gonna happen yet and I'm aware of that so this is the importance of becoming aware of where you are in your own spiritual development and that may be why you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend because you're not putting enough time and energy into your own spiritual development and you're not aware of what it is that I'm talking about you're not aware that you're not supposed to have one right now and even if you and even you may be looking like what I just shared with you about getting that sexual experience that sounds great doesn't it it is great and it's great because I understand that it's just for that principle it's for that experience that release and you may even be okay with that too you may be like well I want to do that well guess what now now you have a little bit of a knowledge like when you start working on yourself you will eventually charge up some energy within you where you're like okay now I, I'm gonna I'm gonna meet up with somebody tonight I'm gonna hang up hang out with somebody tonight and I'm looking for this great experience it will come and then when you have that 
it, it's going to be a lot more natural and it's, it's, it's going to be amazing. But if you're always like a, a, an addict and you're a junkie and you're looking for that experience all the time, like I want someone that's into me, I'm looking for this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, you're not going to find it and you're not going to get it. And if you do, it's going to be diluted, it's going to be twisted, it's going to be inverted, it's going to suck and you're going to eventually lose it and then you're going to realize I wasted a lot of time and energy and hopefully, this happens to a lot of people, but hopefully you don't get a mindset that's like, fuck women or fuck men. Okay, hopefully you don't do that. Because then you're setting yourself up to be jaded, and when you're jaded, you're shutting off an aspect of your own uh, development. So, other than that, guys, this is I, this is gonna wrap the video up. I definitely like what I shared on here. So, I hope this could really speak to some of you, and I know that it did uh, for a lot of you. Um, so, with that being said, definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. It's gonna be right down there. Then go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I'm posting videos as often as I can. Make sure you go to the very first link at the top of the description that's going to take you to my patreon once again i have exclusive videos on there go and check it out um go to the second link below that's going to take you to the stream Labs merch page where you can place an order for a hecate sigil shirt and they will literally ship it right to your door uh and i'm going to be getting rid of the uh stream Labs merch page once i hit a thousand subscribers so there will be a new merch page so definitely be ready for that as well Go to the third link below that's going to take you to the Facebook community where you're going to go there. You're going to see something that says pin post uh, or you're going, excuse me, you're going to see a pin post that says private group. You're going to click that, request the join in the private group. I also post a little bit of extra content on there in the form of quotes. Um, so definitely make sure you check that out. I will, if you request a join, I'll add you in. And other than that, that's going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night wherever you are and I will see you on the next video. Peace.